assume that uh, you no longer you no longer want to make any intervention so that I proceed to your colleague I would like to proceed Ah, there it comes. Mr. Speaker, in 1976, a few passengers, Israeli nationals, were kidnapped and they landed in Entebbe. And the government of Israel, because of the meaning of a life of an Israeli, came to Israel with the be came to Entebbe with the best of their best, led by Jonathan Yoni, because an Israel life matters. I had thought, Mr. Speaker, because of Corona, COVID-19, Kenyans would appreciate the role of doctors in our lives. I have watched in this country I've listened in this parliament, including this afternoon, people, our colleagues, attempting to use this opportunity to attack doctors. Be careful. Doctors are just as Kenyans as we are. We cannot, Mr. Speaker, punish them for being amongst the finest in the country. The same doctors you are vilifying, Senator Terrege, where were you in your primary school when your classmate beat you and qualified with better grades to become a doctor and you couldn't? Mr. Speaker, I request the Senator of Nandi to be apologetic. In fact, it's a privilege to him that we have introduced a system of adult education Kumbaru in degrees. <laughs> Otherwise, traditionally, he should not appear in court at all because it's only Kumbaru that has allowed him to become a lawyer. He should be told the people he's berating are the same ones who got an A in maths, an A in physics, an A in chemistry, an A in everything, when he was struggling with C minus, C, those kind of things. We must pay doctors. What is the big deal? And what's your point of order, Senator Madago? Honorable Speaker, understanding what the 105 statement of fact, I don't dispute that doctors require A's in grades to qualify, but can the Senator for Kakamega prove that Senator Gerardi had C minuses and C? Can he provide evidence or withdraw the apologies? Mr. Speaker, if it pleases the Senator of uh, Washington issue, I have withdrawn. But withdrawing does not change the fact. It simply means that the fact has been removed on the menu. Mr. Speaker, I don't know. I, I am very disturbed when I hear a lot of voices on the minority side pushing the correct agenda. And the majority on the, on the majority side defending the wrong agenda. I wonder, who told members of parliament that you were elected to come to parliament so as to support the government even when in its policy the government is wrong? Who told you it is our responsibility on the majority side, on the minority side, to critically critique 
government policy so that we make it better. Mr. Speaker, if we do not correct the problem of these doctors, do you know it can go on for the whole year? For your information, colleagues, your child who tonight will have an asthmatic attack, God forbid, is not going to be treated by anybody else other than the medical interns at the private hospitals. Because we senior doctors do not go on call. The younger doctors, the ones you're calling, I mean uh, unqualified people, they are the ones who are on the first line. They are on call throughout the night, so they moonlight. They go for locum in private practice so as to make up. This case can remain on this strike for one year because when they are on, on lockup, they are paid better. Number two, the principle of perpetual succession. The CBA that was negotiated between the doctors those years before was between the doctors and the minister of that time. I think it was Mutai Kagwe or somebody. So what Mutai Kagwe and his fellow cabinet agreed is as binding as the one that Nahumija will agree with the doctors. And I want to appeal to Nahumija. Nahumija, relax. <laughs> you are our kid sister. Relax completely. I told you, you are in Ekolomani a few months ago. And you said you're going to close a go hospital because you found the mortuary. You're not going to close. You're going to demote it from level four to some other level because the mortuary service and ambulance service was having a problem. That is not your role, Minister. Your role is to correct, to improve where it is not working. I want to appeal to my sister and tell her that when your day will come, you will be alone. Ask Linturi. Today Linturi is facing the music alone. Accountability is an individual issue. Go all out of your way, minister, and help the government to fix the problem of doctors returning on duty. And it's not difficult. I hear, uh, where, where is I? The chairman of uh, finance committee is not here. But I think it is, they, they're looking for 4.9 billion shillings. If you take the CDF, 200 billion, 200 million per constituency times 290, that is 58 billion shillings. If you just remove 4.9 so that an, an MP is getting slightly less CDF than they are getting, You'll pay the doctors and there'll be no noise. There is a young man called uh, Ndindi Nyoro, the chairman of budget and, budget and Appropriation Committee, Finance something. That, that, that committee in the National Assembly that advises Parliament on issues of appropriation, which figures go where and what not. Ndindi Nyoro, my good brother, Relax. Work. Instead of setting your eye on an imaginary year called 2032, where your age mates are telling you that you will be ABCD, concentrate, do your work for a few years. Before you came there, Mutaba Musimi was there. Before Mutaba Musimi came there, others were there. Don't use that opportunity to deny key players the benefit of support from the commonwealth of this country called the budget. Mr. Speaker, I therefore will continue insisting that doctors be supported to go back on duty so that we help President William Ruto to succeed. Even his tenure, it will go down in history for five years that the medical services collapsed. It is the single agenda that would cause the voters not to want to re-elect our government. So those of us who are supporting that agenda of doctors be paid, 
we are the ones who are helping the president to get reelected in 2027. There is no shortcut. It's a question of calling people to the polling station. Mr. Speaker, I'm happy that the chairman of uh, health has put in his best. Chairman, we support you. I know how limited your input can be if you don't enjoy the powers of the cabinet, but that does not mean that we shall give up. We will only look for better ways of making sure that doctors return to hospital. Finally, Mr. Speaker, allow me to allow some people to hate doctors, to call them the names they want. Even if you don't like doctors, then like the patients. Because the patients is where you find your wife, where you find your children, where you find your parents, Mr. Speaker. So, if you don't learn to like your parents, your wife, your children, and your friends, when you lose them, the doctors don't come to bury them. It is you who is going to bury them. And I'm glad that the Senator Fernandi has now come back. I wish we could change standing orders so that he could be given another chance to apologize to doctors. Those of us, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Mr. Speaker. What is your point of order, Senator Chirke? Mr. Speaker, 